And welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl Tara D, and I'm back with another video. If you like my videos before this, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. I appreciate all your support and thank you for tuning in. Today's video is gonna be just like my other videos. We're doing a get ready with me, but classy style i'm gonna be dressing up we putting on heels we putting on full face of makeup we're putting on a dress because tonight i'm going down to the city to you know go on a nice little dinner and i'm getting dressed up i never get to dress up like a woman so i feel so excited to do this i usually wear you know sneakers sweats whatever you guys have seen how i dress and that's where i'm comfortable but i'm only getting older i'm 24 years old right now and i'm about to turn 25 so i do want to start dressing up whenever i go out just taking that initiative to put on heels with jeans make my outfits a little more classier if that makes sense like i'm trying to let go of the sweatpants leave that for work but when i'm going out I want to step out and be comfortable so i want to start practicing wearing heels things like that and that only comes with me actually wearing it so dress enough tonight super super cute and i'm going to take you guys along with me so you guys can see where i go for the night you know per usual our usual thing but yeah we're going to be doing full shower routine full makeup routine full outfit per usual and yeah so this morning i got my nails done and i got this white color and my toes are still back from the last time I did my nails. Um, I didn't really need to do my toes again. They were still fresh. So I just did my nails because, y'all, my nails were so busted. I'm going to insert some clips so you guys can see it. My nails were breaking. They were a mess. I needed a fill. I looked a mess. And I can't go out tonight looking like that. So Maggie fixed me up real quick. And I also got a wax, a Brazilian. And not by Kia, unfortunately, because Kia has taken off from work. Girl, if you're watching this, please come back to work because I need you. I need you, I need you. Nobody does a wax like Kia does, and I, it's just unacceptable anybody else that does it. So, if you guys wanna book with Kia when she does come back to work, that link is in my, link That link is also in my bio, as well as Danielle, because as you guys can see, my lashes, are non-existent they have been non-existent for a while now it's because i'm busy danielle is busy things have just been going on in our lives that has just made it hard to schedule with her um but now we're on track i have an appointment for june 3rd so in my next video you guys will probably see me get my lashes done the link for that is also in my bio so if you guys want to book with her make sure you click the link and also use my discount code tyra d for 15 percent off your first set with her I'm telling you guys, whenever you book with her, you are not going to go to anybody else. Just the ambiance of her studio, her as a person, and the work she does, it speaks for itself. Like, I don't even have to say too much. You guys have to book with her. But yeah. Anyways, right now I'm outside of the post office because I got me a P.O. box. And I'm also going to have the address down below. So if you guys want to send me anything, like if you have a small business, anything, send me your stuff i will open the packages gladly and support you the same way you are supporting me so make sure to send me some stuff if you want to send me products you want to send me anything anything even a letter you want to write a letter and talk to me i'm going to respond okay and i might even just give you a shout out on the channel so you know reach out to me i'm happy to get all the products and just speak with you guys so i'm gonna have that link down below and danielle and kia and yeah so that's that and let's go get ready now Y'all already know, first things first, we gotta get the vibes going. So I'm gonna be lighting my candle called Island Escape. I believe I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond so they no longer sell it, but it smells so good. Before getting to the shower, I'm just gonna exfoliate my skin using this dry brush. I always do this step. If you guys have been watching my videos, then you already know I never take a shower before doing this step. Just because I feel like it really gets all the dirt, grime, and dead skin cells that would be lingering in my skin throughout the day. And I don't want to bring any of that in the shower with me. Pick up the phone when you alone. All I ever asked was you to 
Show me some love, kisses and hugs No, I never had a new you go to the club with your boys, baby before I could touch any part of my body, I need to make sure my hands are clean. So I'm just going to go ahead and wash my hands using this antibacterial soap. This is the Detol soap that I've talked about before. I love this soap. It's very like stripping, but I just feel like that makes my hands or whatever part of my body I use it on feel super, super clean. And, you know, of course, we're going to bring the moisture back, but yeah. For oral hygiene, I'm going in my usual, the Arm & Hammer Baking Soda Toothpaste. This is definitely my go-to. Y'all will see me use it in every single video. If it's not this one, it's the same brand but a different flavor. Well, not even a flavor, a different type of targeting thing. So like this one is like whitening, the other one might be strengthening. Whatever the case is, I just always go for the baking soda. It has a mild taste. For skincare, I'm going in with the St. Eyes Fresh Skin Scrub. This is like an exfoliating scrub, which I really love before putting on any makeup just because I feel like it gets all the dirt all out of my face. And I also use it after, you know, taking off my makeup. It just gets really deep into the skin and just really exfoliates my skin, prepares it for either putting on makeup or time for bed. For lip care, I'm going in with the Creamy Coconut Lip Scrub, and this is by Incha Cosmetics. I decided to incorporate this technique or tool you can say into my shower routine just because i've been noticing like my lips have been very like not dry but having like that little bit of crust on the edges and i don't like that so i just got into this habit of exfoliating every night just to make sure my skin stays soft and all the dead skin is off for my base cleanser, I'm going in with the Dr. Broner's Peppermint Castile Soap. And I'm going in with my loofah just to give me that extra exfoliating. And if you're an OG subscriber, you already know how much I love the peppermint scent. It just smells so good. It's so refreshing. It clears my nose and all. But most of all, I really love Dr. Broner's just because it lathers up so well. I've honestly not tried any other scent other than the peppermint and i look forward to trying other scents because i love the soap itself even though it is very stripping and dry into the skin i just feel so clean after using this and it really gives me this spicy feeling afterwards like once the water hits me i feel like a brand new person so if you want that kind of vibe make sure you cop yourself one of these and yeah For vaginal care, I'm going in my usual, the Honey Pot Normal Foamy Wash. This is a very lightweight cleanser and it gets your girl downstairs super clean without doing too much. I'm also going to go ahead and exfoliate my area downstairs as well as my backside. I always exfoliate these areas because I feel like bacteria harvest may be here the most just because, you know, all the crevices that we have down there as well as our backside. And when I say the crevices, I do not mean the inner side, ladies. I'm talking about the in between your thigh and where your girl is. You really want to scrub that out and make sure everything's clean so that you don't have any odor. For our scents of the day, I'm going on my new fave, the Dove Calming Oatmeal and Rice Milk Body Wash. Y'all, this smells so freaking good. Like, I feel like I want to use this every day. And I actually have been using it very often. Like, the times I record these videos, I record maybe two or three times a week. And I must say that sometimes I do get a little sad when I gotta switch all my products. But this one is my fave for right now. But I know I don't want to, you know record using it every single time but honestly i just might have to because this body wash smells so 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 good y'all like you guys really have to try it so you know that i'm not crazy this is definitely a go-to and that's always to get you guys an african net there's nothing like the scrubber out in this world
to exfoliate my body i'm going in with two of my favorite brands i'm going in with the dove and ancient cosmetics for ancient cosmetics i'm going in with the scent caramel and butterscotch this actually smells so good even though i'm not a fan of things smelling so much like food obviously i like it because i have the oatmeal stuff caramel all these foodie scents and they smell so good i don't know what it is it just is good but anyways you already know how i feel about Inch cosmetics if you really want a deep exfoliant this is the one for you it is super scratchy as you can see my skin is kind of getting red and i just love it so much it's so scratchy at the same time very moisturizing like if you can see look how shiny my skin is girl i was glowing okay but anyways i still went in with my dove right after just because i love the way this smells like and it brings a lot of moisture back even though the ancient cosmetics already did so i just wanted to double up just because just because so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and go in with this one and it was okay because you know this was a moderate scrub it's not so hard so I really enjoyed this shower. To exfoliate my girl downstairs, I'm going in with the Bush Balm Ingrown Hair Exfoliating Scrub. This gets ancient cosmetics vibes because it's super scratchy yet so moisturizing. So it's perfect for your girl downstairs and it targets ingrown hairs, which is perfect. I'm also going to be going in with the EOS Pre-Shaving Scrub and just exfoliate my skin again in the areas that I know I'm about to shave. For shaving, I'm going in with the shaving oil that I used in my last video. Y'all, this oil comes in clutch. I feel like it's way more efficient than using shaving cream. I don't know. I still love my eels, but this is just so like smooth it's so sleek and yes i did shave my underarms and my chest unfortunately i didn't have time to wax them so i had to shave it which is annoying but yeah so i went ahead and shaved my arms i also shaved my legs and y'all are probably wondering why i shaved my chest i don't know about y'all but sometimes i get like these one or two three hairs on my chest and they get super long like ew so i always end up shaving them and i really should just start plucking them or waxing them instead because shaving just brings them back a lot faster for foot care i'm going on my usual the dr teal's gentle exfoliant just to scrub my feet and make sure they're super soft for my after shower care i'm getting straight into moisturizing so first i'm going to start with my lips using vaseline per usual and then I'm gonna head on to my face using my 4-in-1 by Ancient Cosmetics per usual. This is definitely a go-to face oil. It's not too greasy and it just gets the job done perfectly. And it's honestly a good base for makeup, like really, really good. For my girl downstairs, I'm going in with the Bush Balm Ingrown Hair Oil. This is a pair to the exfoliator. And last but not least, for my body, I'm going in with the Vanilla Cashmere Body Lotion by Eos. This one smells so good. Like, if anybody hugs you, they're going to be like, mmm, you smell good. And it honestly lasts all day. For my hair and makeup, I'm not going to be talking too much, but this is just a little walkthrough a little bit. I always use Got To Be Glue on my edges, y'all. This is definitely a hack because any other gel you're going to use, your edges won't last, okay? Got to be is the way to go. And I'm going to be using some of the products that you guys see me use in my last video. These are going to be, oh, hey, Catherine. Hey, girl. That's my friend, y'all. That's Catherine. Say hey. 
but anyways um a lot of these products you guys see me use in my last video i didn't really talk too much and i still don't want to talk too much i really do want to do a sit down girls chit chat with you guys so honestly leave some topics down below that you guys want to talk about because i do want to do a sit down video and just bring different stuff to my channel so yeah but honestly i was talking throughout this whole time while doing my makeup so you're gonna see my mouth opening but you know the look is coming together and don't come for me or anything if you guys don't like the way my eyeshadow came out i honestly liked it i'm not an eyeshadow girl nor am i a makeup artist so i do my makeup the way i know how to do it so please don't come for me and yeah i thought my face came out pretty good my eyeshadow game needs a little work because i don't know i looked kind of round like it looks round like i want a sharp look i don't know but yeah this is how my look came together and i came out looking pretty cute like the process i'll be looking a little crazy like right now i look a little crazy but the end result was really cute i was really happy with how i looked and my makeup lasted and set all day and i just looked cute so yeah He's reckless, you say that he's selfish You know that I'm jealous You're getting all of your love, you just don't get enough Girl, you need a real man yeah. Hanging out the back all over your lap Like, is you out with him? I don't want to know that Yeah, I don't care long as you're here By 10.30, no later than So I can for my outfit i'm putting on this cute dress and this is from fashion nova girl like what hello what and it was giving body like who am i what mm, yeah yeah this dress was so cute i was just like wow this is fire i love it like it's so classy it's classy okay and for my shoes, I paired it with my Alexander wing heels. I thought these were perfect because you see how the top has that like suede look and the rest of it is matte. It's kind of giving like my dress, how I have little feathers or whatever. It was cute. But anyways, for my fragrance, I went on my Zara, the Wonder Rose. This smells so good and it went perfectly with all the scents from my shower routine. I saw it on the internet. <laughs> I don't really know how to confess my love. Really seem like I want to test my love. For you who don't know how to express my love. That's why I'm American Express. Yeah, 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 yeah. I give you the world, but there's other planets too. all right y'all so that is a wrap for today's video if you like this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl i appreciate all your support and thank you for tuning in for another video Please remember, I'm going to be posting on Tuesdays and Fridays, so make sure you stay updated. Make sure you have your post notifications on, and make sure you send stuff to my P.O. Box, girl. All right, y'all. I'll see you later. Bye.